How's it going? My name is Mobbent, and I am here today to show you how to make end gates that work using Universal Minecraft Editor. This is an issue that has been broken over the past year due to the aquatic update breaking spawners that use falling blocks, and the old method used a falling block end gate spawner to summon in the end gates. The fix is actually fairly simple, and to show you that it works, I have prepared two minor examples of end gates here one using a chest and one using a sign. Unfortunately, you cannot get the black portal goodness that looks like your end gates that you know and love, however you are able to use tile entities such as chest, ender chest, signs, and so on to make your end gates work. For our purposes we'll be using a banner in our little end gate setup over here. Obviously this whole structure isn't needed, but you will need an entity here. This will be what we use when we're in the program to actually determine the location that we want to put our end gate in, and you need a tile entity place and I'll explain why later. So what you're wanting what you're gonna wanna do here is head into the end. And kill the Ender Dragon. I prepared myself a max sharpness sword and I have already gotten rid of all the end crystals to save time. So after the Ender Dragon comes back to nest I can kill it. Oh. Stubborn one. There we go. It won't die unless it's actually properly hovering above the nest, so I had to wait for it to get into that state. If you don't understand yet, the reason why we are killing the Ender Dragon is because we need to summon the end gate over here. Because we need the tile data from this when we're in the editor. So now all we gotta do is head back into the overworld. Since we have already placed down the banner over there to determine where we're putting the end gate, we're going to come over here, determine the coordinates where we want to teleport ourselves. In this case, I want to teleport on top of this red sun up here, so my coordinates I need to remember is 0, 21, and 0, as you see in the map on the left side. So after we have prepared everything, we can just exit, save this onto our flash drive, and go onto the Universal Minecraft Editor program. Alright, so now that you've loaded up the Universal Minecraft Editor, select your platform and load up the world that you need to uh, mod. After it loads, head over to the chunk locator. Go to the end. And find the chunk where the end gateway is in. For me, it is over here, right by this little plus. That's how it will look on the chunk locator. Go to tile into these, open it up, and copy the end gateway data. Afterwards, go back to the chunk locator, put up the dimension you're choosing to put it in, and find the chunk that you need to put your end gateway in. Paste the end gateway into the tile entities, along with the entity here that you're trying to replace. You're going to want to go copy the data, or copy the coordinates of the tile entity you're replacing, and delete and paste those coordinates into here. Ensure they match 0, 20, and negative 45. Alright, it looks like it matches, so I'm going to delete the tile entity we're replacing. That is very important that you do that, so if you're using a sign, a banner, whatever, you have to delete it after you replace it. Now that the end gateway is taking the place of the banner, we're going to go over at end gateway teleport and we're going to put in the coordinates that we would desire to teleport to. For me, that is 0, 21, and 0, and I'm going to check exact teleport. If you would like them to teleport to the area and not exactly those coordinates, you can keep exact teleport at 0, but for me, I would like them to teleport to that exact point, so I'm going to put it to 1. If you open up exit portal and look at these coordinates, you can see it matches up with what I wanted, but one thing I would like to note is if you're copying and pasting something into it coordinate-wise, Say I would like to make it where it's actually teleporting to where this beacon is, and I copy and paste them into here. Notice how the X, Y, and Z here are lowercase, and in the exit portal, the X, Y, and Z are capitalized. This is important that these are capitalized. If these are not capitalized, it will not work. So if you're copying and pasting coordinates into the exit portal, make sure you capitalize these or it will not work. Now that we have successfully modded ourselves in the gateway, all we have to do is save the world and it should be saved, rehashed, and resigned, and we should be good to bring it back to console and test to see if it worked. 
Alright, now that we have transferred our world over to PS4, all we have to do from this point is go and test to ensure that this actually is working. So as you can see here, the end gate now is just the hitbox of the banner like I mentioned earlier. And it is completely invisible other than that. It can be broken by players, so be cautious of that in whatever you're setting up with this. However, you walk through it, it will teleport you where you need to go. And as you can see, we now teleported back to the center of the world. If I'm to grab some items just to demonstrate, you toss them into either of these. They show up over there, and you can even shoot arrows through it. Although the arrows are a bit finicky through end gates. So you could make a few different interesting minigames with this, or you can just use this for whatever purposes you need. If you found this video to be helpful, please consider subscribing, sharing, and liking the video. That is all I have to show you, and I will be making more tutorials in the future, so if you have any questions or are having any troubles with this, please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to help you. And let me know what other tutorials you would like to learn about when it comes to modding. That is all we have for today. I am Mobbent, and I am out.